guys, it's Karina here again. Welcome to the second episode of That's So Local. I hope you guys had a great week last week. I sure did because it's May and it means that springtime is here and it means that the farmer's market are open but it also means that it's asparagus and rhubarb season. Like I promised, we're going to be talking about True Local first and I'm going to be telling you guys about what an amazing company this is. So True Local is a 100% local business. They specialize in bringing meat to our table from the farmer's market. So instead of you, if you don't have time to go to the farmer's market and get that piece of meat, True Local takes care of that right for you because you just order online and they package it in a box just like this one and they deliver it right to your door. So in a box like this, they usually will package any meat that you choose. Uh, you can choose from things like steak, uh, chicken, ground beef, sausages, uh, even fish, and also bacon. You know, bacon's really important. And you would know that it's Ontario certified because they have like the Ontario approved sign. So you know that you're supporting Ontario farmers and Ontario products, and you just feel better about helping your community. I sure do. So if you guys want to uh, learn a little more about True Local, you can visit their website. They have lots of information right there. Uh, you can also email them there. Uh, their website is www.truelocal.ca or you can even catch them on Instagram and they'll be happy to reply to you and answer any of your questions that you may have about their program and about their meats. So for the second part of our episode today, we're going to be cooking something very delicious using some seasonal products. And like I said, the month of May is the month of asparagus and rhubarb. So I went to the farmer's market and got some local asparagus and some local rhubarb that I'm going to pair up with true local salmon. So now we're going to be cooking. So you're going to need a magic bullet or some sort of blender, um, some local salmon, hopefully true local salmon, your asparagus and your rhubarb, and as well as all the uh, ingredients listed below in the comments. For the rhubarb sauce, you're going to combine all the ingredients uh, below and set it aside. On a side note, I got this recipe from Whisket real good and it calls for some chili sauce but I am going to opt out of that because I'm not a big fan of uh, hot spicy things but you can put it in as well. For the salmon it's really simple you just grab the salmon and your olive oil and you're going to drizzle and cover it all. If you're doing a multiple piece then obviously it calls for more olive oil but I'm just doing one piece here. So the olive oil I use is called MV Evo. I really like them. They are a local family business. They source their olives from Greece and they bottle it here in Canada. So um, it's a great local product. And it's also fairly priced as well. Like you see, I finished uh, the salmon with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. So then you're gonna get your food processor thing or cup for your blender and you're gonna combine all the rhubarb sauce ingredients there. And then you're going to blend it until it's all combined really well. You're then going to pour the rhubarb sauce into a medium saucepan over medium to high heat until it's boiling. And then just simmer for 10 minutes. Now for the asparagus, it's really simple. You just grab your asparagus and make sure you have peeled off the skin uh, on the outside. And grab your olive oil and you're just going to lather it and put um, a little bit of garlic. Just make sure everything's evenly covered, all the asparagus is nice and lathered in oil and garlic. Then you're going to bring over your pan and your salmon that you put aside. And then we're just going to arrange the asparagus and salmon in the pan to put in the oven. So after you put the salmon and the asparagus in, in the oven at 400 for about 15 minutes until golden, you'll get something this mm -hmm. and so now we're gonna plate it so the original recipe called to put the sauce over the salmon but I wanted to be a little more creative and put it like as a sauce at the bottom and put the asparagus on top and then the salmon to uh, finish it off but you can do either or and you can garnish it with some fresh herbs so that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in another episode of That's So Local. I really had fun today, and I hope you guys did too. I learned something about True Local, and also how to be creative with your cooking when it comes to seasonal vegetables. Well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure that you know when I'm putting in a new episode um, about local foods. Don't miss the next episode that I'm going to be 
do, and it's gonna give out bread. I mean, I love bread, and I'm sure you love bread. I mean, who doesn't love bread? So it's gonna be really interesting and educational for you guys too. So don't forget to tune in for my next episode of That's So Local. If you have any comments or questions or anything, you can comment down below or follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram page and ask me questions there. You can also check my website, www.thesassytomato.ca and there's a lot of facts about local foods and a lot of uh, the local producers that I'm working with and that I support and you can check them out there as well. Alright, so I hope you guys have a fantastic week ahead of you guys and I will see you next next week on my next episode of That's So Local. Bye!